is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis coming to you on a quick video. I wanted to let you guys know I got some new merchandise available, not just t-shirt anymore. I got different type of t-shirts, different type of shirts and logos that you can purchase on my spread shirt and also hoodies now. We have expanded and added more to the channel and more merchandise for the brand. Thanks for supporting. It will be in the description and the links will be in the comment section below. Thanks for helping me and supporting the movement. Quinn Wade, Basketball Analysis. I'm going to check out the video. What's good, YouTube? Quinn Wade, Basketball Analysis. Coming to y'all a quick video. I was just on my way to the bed and then breaking news happened that Tobias Harris will be getting traded from the Clippers to the 76ers, which comes as a surprise to some because he has had his best season and they are in the playoffs in the Western Conference. And I just wanted to say something quickly about his contract. I feel like he has outplayed his contract and continued to improve. And I feel like that's the main reason why he's having trouble finding a home, just because he's on a good tradable contract. Plus, he's a guy that's a borderline all-star. And I actually felt that he should have been an all-star because he do play for the Clippers. They are in the Western Conference playoff picture right now. And they do got a cushion on Sacramento and the Lakers. And the fact that they don't even have one all-star on that roster is kind of crazy to me and on top of that you have to factor in that they've been in the playoffs all season really in the western conference getting as high as being top four at home court advantage before they start going on a losing streak but let me just run down the whole trade for you guys clippers and the Sixers have agreed to trade tobias harris boban uh, mike scott for larry shamit wilson chandler mike muscala in the 2020 first round or 2021 unprotected first round via Miami and two second rounders. Now, this is basically Philly going all in. They just traded for Jimmy Butler. They have J.J. Reddick, who they just re-signed. They bring in Joel B, who's been healthy for the most part of this season and has played his best season of his career. Um, you have Ben Simmons, an all-star to go alongside Joel B, then Jimmy Butler. This team feels like they can make a push with Victor Oladipo going down. Um, they have a chance to get that top three seed and even go up even more if they can really close out this season on a high note like they did last year, which you never know might happen. But this trade really, you know, thrust this them up in there. We thought that they was one of the better teams in the East and they could literally make the Eastern Conference Finals if things went their way. But now they feel like they want to go all in with this roster. And honestly, when you look at what they gave up, why wouldn't you do this? You get an all-star caliber player in Tobias Harris. You get a big and that can back up um, Joel Embiid and Boban, who's a legitimate player. He, he's a great finisher around the rim, has nice touch, and I like him. Um, he's been getting some major minutes in um, with the Clippers, and I feel like he needed an opportunity like this where he actually is competing for a chance to possibly win it all. Everybody knows that the Golden State Warriors is the team to beat. They're the two-time champions, and everybody trying to stop them from three-peating. And right now, the Sixers are 34-20. and 20. They are a two-game win, two, three-game win streak away from being third. And they feel like they can beat um, Boston. They feel like they can beat Toronto. They feel like they can beat the Bucks, And they should because they match up good against both teams. And I feel like this trade pushed them right there with those teams they haven't played like the team that we thought they would but they have also not have been a disappointment so far uh we knew it was going to take some time for everybody to pan out and learn their roles and readjust to having jimmy butler on this roster but you also got to take in consideration that it's a learning process it's chemistry building and you know jimmy butler is a type of player that they haven't had there in a while so that's another thing that gotta get adjusted to um, and he closed games day one. He came in and been clutch for him. He claimed, came in and really played well for him. And I think, you know, having a guy like Boban, a 7-3 guy that can really finish at that realm, shooting 60% from the field of career high. Um, and he's a decent free throw shooter as a big, giving you four rebounds and about seven points in his minutes that he does play. He hasn't really played that many minutes. Um, as is, but at least you get somebody that's big that can really lock up that paint when Joel Embiid is not there, or even if he get injured, you have a guy that can really come in there and shore up that center position, um, even if it is for 25 minutes or it is for just replacing them if he gets out with a, a small injury that sometimes sideline them or even if they rest them, um, depending on how the season go at the end. 
when you look at their backups, they really just have Amir Johnson and Justin Patton and those guys as borderline NBA players at this point. And it is good to have somebody that can solidify that center position for them um, going on in the future. But I think that this trade is to really go all in this season because we don't really know how much money Tobias Harris is going to be worth because that's the main reason probably why the Clippers don't want to keep him is because they really don't feel like he's worth the money. Even though, I like I started off the video, I feel like that's kind of dirty because he has got traded from Detroit after signing that contract where Orlando gets traded to Detroit. Next thing you know, he's on a good tr contract. They use um, Blake Griffin. They sign him, get Tobias, and then exchange him for more picks and money. Oof, the NBA can be very rough. It can be very tough, and it can be real hard for players because um, now he got to move all the way from the West Coast all the way down to the East Coast and really learn how to play his with new teammates on the fly because when this team – plays they first game is going to be high expectations now because the main thing they needed was a guy that can handle the ball and shoot at that four spot and if they're going to play him at the four with Jimmy Reddick um Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid that's going to be a nasty lineup especially the fact that he can handle the ball shoot the three post up um play off the ball well this team is going to be tough to guard they feel like they can beat my I mean they feel like they can beat Milwaukee they feel like they can beat Boston, they feel like they can beat Toronto. They was already in the discussion, like I said, and they went all in. Now for the Clippers, to me, this is just you don't really want to commit um, to Tobias Harris, so you dump him for some cash to me because I don't really think the 2020 and the 2021 first-round picks and even the second-round picks matter right now. We know Jerry West and them are trying to clear space so they can get max contracts. They're not really worried about the draft at this point. Um, because those drafts are in the future, so you worry about it then. You scout now, and you worry about who you're going to pick when it comes close. Um, and right now, you get uh, Larry Sh Landry Shamit. He's a pretty solid player. He can hit threes. He's a good rotation player, not an all-star, not a superstar. Don't really have a high ceiling, but he's going to be a good rotation player for years to come. I think that's a good, solid player for him, for them, but they didn't really need him. They got a lot of guards already. And even if they let him go, they got Shea Gilgis that looks like that's going to be their future point guard if he doesn't get traded because it seems like everybody available on this Clipper team. But they already have a guard for the future right now, Shea Gilgis. And he can actually play with Shea Gilgis too. So I wonder if they're going to run that or we'll see what happened with Patrick Beverly and Lou Williams and them now that Tobias is gone. Wilson Chandler, um, a solid player. He's not going to be there for the long term either, but he can help them win right now. Um, I don't know if he'll be on the roster by the end of this season, but if he is, you get a solid veteran that's going to be able to hit threes and do the dirty work every once in a while, get some steals, rebound when he needs to. Um, and when his number is called, he's going to give you solid minutes. He's not going to really change your franchise or be a great role player for you. He's just going to be a guy that you can depend on, and he's he's a solid veteran. And then we look at Mike Muscala. He, he's what you want from Tobias Harris, but you're not going to get it because Tobias Harris can do more and bring more to the table. So they had some good fours that was solid to go along with Joel Embiid, Jimmy Butler, and J.J. Reddick. Now they get a guy that can play the three or the four, and he's even more versatile. So you upgrade basically to the highest extent. And then obviously you still got um, Boban too. So I think this is a magnificent trade for <laughs> the 76ers but it's going to be funny because Jimmy Butler is a free agent and then you still got to pay Tobias in the future so that's going to be the biggest problem you just pay Joel Embiid you got to pay JJ Reddick he's going to be a free agent then you got to pay Ben Simmons when he become even though he will be restricted so it'll be easier to keep him he can cap strap you. So right now, they're just worried about the present. They're not really worried about the future, and I feel the same way about the Clippers. This is just a move to focus on how to get better and how to find a way to win a championship. They feel like they're not that far from Golden State, and if they feel like that, they have the right to feel like that. Like I said, Tobias Harris is an all-star caliber player. You look at a lot of people all-star list, just like mine, they had Tobias Harris at that bottoms, but he still was legitimately – in discussion to be an all-star this whole season and this is his best season and he's only 26 he can get even better and he's been proving that his whole career because he has gotten better so 
I definitely can't wait to see this team play. I definitely feel like Brett Brown is happy. He's probably jumping up and down right now, knowing that you got one of the best starting fives in the NBA. Now, you probably might have one of the best teams in the NBA. You gave up a lot of your depth, but you can replace that through the buyouts, and you should be able to get some solid players through that, just like last year. And if they can fill up that bench, they still got court mods and some nice little players off that bench, but I think they can get some more solid veterans and about one or two of them probably shooters but if they can't get shooters because that is a hot commodity just get some playmakers that can make Joel and B job a lot easier so with uh same with Tobias because you're still going to at least go seven to eight deep in the playoffs and you never know freak injuries happen they still got over 25 games to go so you never know what's gonna happen but having Tobias and Boban allows them to still be able to compensate if they get an injury they still gonna have enough to win on a nightly basis against damn near any team in the nba and this trade is letting them know we're coming we don't want to wait we're going all in we traded for jimmy butler to prove it that wasn't enough to get us over the top we still fighting to even be the third seed now let's make another trade to accelerate this process and try to win a championship this year or as fast as we can and this deal might get them closer to that but I still think they got to buy in defensively. They still got to continue to build that chemistry because remember, Tobias and Boban is completely new pieces. He's an upgrade over Wilson Chandler, and they're an upgrade over, and Boban is an upgrade over, like I said, Amir and the other guy. So they're going in the right direction. I just have to see it to believe it. Other than that, when you look at it from a talent perspective, it ain't much you can say that they won this trade. And they don't really care about the picks anyway because they're trying to win now. So the first and second round picks don't really matter to Philly because the next two to three years, they're going to be trying to compete for a championship. And this move proves that that's what they want to do. So let me know what you guys think. Do Tobias Harris take them over the top? Is this the team to beat now in the East? Is they better than the Bucks? Are they better than Toronto? Can they beat them now that they have a legitimate monster starting five that's probably better than Toronto's and Milwaukee at this point? But it all matters how you mesh how you play together, and how you defend. So they still got to knock out those those crinkles with the iron and get everything smooth and selling. It looks good on paper is basically what I'm saying, but we have to see it in action. So I don't know if they're great, if they're dominant. I don't even know if they can win at all. Um, but this helps put them in that conversation. And like I said, with Victor Oladipo going down, that three seed is wide open between Boston and Philly. And Philly, they lost, but they have a chance still because it's over 25 games left to knock down that third seed and try to play Toronto or Milwaukee in the second round. And then, you know, they should be able to get to the NBA Finals from there. This trade is amazing. I did not expect it. I did not see it coming. I even see no reports to even have speculation about this trade. But it might be enough to get Philly over the top in the Eastern Conference. But we still got time to see what the Bucks going to do, what the Raptors going to do. They have chances to top it or they can stay packed because they've been great all season. But the, the Philly, they coming. And they wanted us to know that. Check out my website, analysisplayground.com. Link in the description, comment section below. Check out my Facebook page, analysisplayground.com. Link in the description, comment section below. Like on Facebook to show support. Thanks for everybody liking on Facebook and showing support. Also, check out my spread shirt, like I said. Also, I make videos just like this about trades. I also make videos about the pre previews of the season, breakdowns. I also do NBA tributes to the legend. I also cover the NBA draft and other things like summer league all year round. I try to go 365, but if I can't, I try to make majority of the videos every day as much as I can. So if you want to join the family, thank you. I enjoy making these videos. You guys enjoy watching. That's why I'll continue to go. And let me know what you guys think about the Sixers new trade.